Hey guys, welcome back to Meromedics. In this video, we are going to discuss about cephalosporins. So, we are doing series of videos regarding antibiotics. In first video, we will discuss the introduction classification of antibiotics. In the second video, we will discuss the beta-lactam antibiotics and penicillin. So, those who have not seen the video, just go and run and see the videos. Link will be in the description box. So, yeah, let's uh, look a few things about cephalosporin. So, again, in the last video, we will discuss the beta-lactam antibiotics in under the uh, classification of uh, antibiotic and cephalosporins. So, uh, the definition of okay, any group of widely used broad-spectrum antibiotics. So, it is a broad-spectrum antibiotics originally isolated as a product of fermentation from the fungus cephalosporium acrimonium. So, cephalosporium acrimonium in the fungus will isolate the antibiotic and cephalosporins in the varainada. Again, it has broad spectrum activity. So, cephalosporin is again a 10 mark or 5 mark question. So, what is the main classification? So, we have the classification. We the text. It's very hard because Oro classification that is, it is first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation, and sixth generation. So, it is a bit of a because of one generation of example. But, you have know, important mnemonics which you can know, use to get the money. So, let's see. First generation, we will see how So, these are the examples. We will see how to do Cephazolin, Cephalexin, Cephalothin, Cephaloridin and Cephadroxyl. So, if you have a question, you mark it. Ceph is the cephalosporins in the medicines. If you have a ceph, it is first generation. So, that is the clue for first generation. Any medicine starts with ceph and uh, after that, A very anangile, other than first generation cephalosporins in the Mansalaka. Next, we have a fourth generation noka. Uh, fourth generation prathega, ceph ganit pi very anangile. See, pi, pi very anangile, that is fourth generation cephalosporin. Other fifth generation prathega, roll and the very anangile, that is. Uh, see, ceftibiprol and ceftarolin. So, there is roll in that. What do you Ceftipi, ceftipirom. So, pi very young, the fourth generation. Roll very young, the fifth generation. Now, we have third generation. Third generation is the one, me, ten. In the first generation, that is third generation. One, O, N, E, one, M, E, me, and Ten. E moon uh, word on the that is third generation cephalosporin. See, there is cephoperazone, cephriazone, ceftaxim, see, cefexim, M E which avasani kino, ten, ceftibutin. So, other than third generation number, the clue. Baki ella cepho which verana medicines second generation. Are. So, this is the clue for the classification of cephalosporin. If A comes after Ceph, it is first generation. If 1, me or 10 comes at the end of the Ceph medicine, it is third generation. In a PI, Pi Verigian that is fourth generation and Roll Verigian angle at the fifth generation. It is second generation. Mechanism of action again same. Anna. Because if uh, penicillin anangilum, cephalosporin anangilum, monobactams anangilum, this is the beta lactam antibiotics in the underland. So, beta lactam antibiotics in the last class uh, diagram of the varishit in the parnathan, the So, if you say that peptidoglycan layer is not the peptidoglycan layer is the PBP, that is uh, penicillin binding protein, and we have transpeptidase. So, we have flow chart in the cephalosporin. That is the transpeptidase enzyme. This is the transpeptidase enzyme is the peptidoglycan layer. So, even if we have transpeptidase enzyme, we have to act. We have to transpeptidation reaction. Inhibit. Transpeptidation reaction inhibit peptidoglycan layer that is the cell wall layer enzyme that is autolytic enzyme lysis breaking down so soyam breakdown 
എൻസൈംസ് ഒക്കെ അങ്ങ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു ആ സെൽ മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ ആ സെൽ അങ്ങ് എക്സ്പ്ലോഡ് ആവുന്നു ലൈസ് ലൈസിസ് മീൻസ് ബ്രേക്ക് ഡൌൺ അങ്ങനെ ആ മൈക്രോ ഓർഗാനിസം എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു മരിച്ചു പോകുന്നു so this is the mechanism of action of cephalosporin again what are the indication uti urinary tract infection nammal in cephalosporins kodukum next infection of gut then rti respiratory tract infection boils that is uh, abscess nammal uh, pulp kuju okka varumba nammal uh, cephalosporin kodukunu next person allergic to penicillin penicillin consume cheyan pattatha oru cephalosporin aanu edukka meningitis gonorrhea infected burns tonsillitis so these all are the indications uh, example next is adverse effect arcogyana cephalosporin uh, reaction endakeyanu nokkiyalla allergic reaction varan that is anaphylactic reactions urticaria skin rashes okka varan chance undu next is git gastrointestinal അപ്സെറ്റ് ജി ഐ ടി അപ്സെറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോസിയ വോമിറ്റിംഗ് ഡയറിയ നെക്സ്റ്റ് നെഫ്രോടോക്സിസിറ്റി ഇറ്റ് എഫക്ട്സ് കിഡ്നി ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഡൈസൾഫിറം ലൈക്ക് റിയാക്ഷൻ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി അഡ്വേഴ്സ് എഫക്ട് ഓഫ് സെഫാലോസ്പോറിൻ ഇതാണ് സെഫാലോസ്പോറിനെ പറ്റിയുള്ള ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള പോയിന്റ്സ് ട്രൈ ടു റിമെമ്പർ ലേൺ ആൻഡ് യാ പ്ലീസ് ലൈക്ക് ഷെയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു അവർ ചാനൽ ആൻഡ് താങ്ക്സ് ഫോർ വാ